So what is co-creation? Co-creation is often mentioned alongside other buzzwords like user-generated content, social media and crowdsourcing. Many of our friends and clients ask us, what does it mean? Why should I care? And how can it be of benefit to my work? We define co-creation as the development of new concepts, products or services together with customers, partners or other expert stakeholders. It's based on two strong principles. You cannot solve a problem within the same thinking that created it. And no matter how smart you are, most of the smartest people always seem to work for someone else. There are four main types of co-creation, each with their own characteristics and reasons to be. They're defined by two dimensions. There is openness. Who gets to take part? Can anyone join? Or is there a selection process? And ownership. Who owns the outcome? Is it just the initiator? Or does everybody share? Let's apply the four types to the example of a chair manufacturer. Cases when anyone can join, but results are owned by the initiator, we call crowd of people or crowdsourcing. This form is all about the wisdom of the crowds. Using online platforms, you might find someone out there with the solution to your problem. For instance, a brilliant new chair design. When co-creation is open and results are shared between initiator, contributors or even everyone, we call it a community of kindred spirits. It's based on groups of people with similar interests or doing something for the greater good. In our example, this might be people sharing designs in a community database. The coalition of parties is when companies collaborate by bringing knowledge, investments or other assets and skills to the table to reach a shared goal that they could never achieve alone. For example, NASA teaming up with our chair producer to make super light, super strong chairs based on space technology. Club of experts is when hand-picked specialists help to solve an initiator's challenge. It is best suited for very specific and time-pressure challenges that demand breakthrough ideas. In our example, this might involve an airline working together with pilots, designers and travellers to design the ultimate airplane chair. So what does the success of co-creation depend upon? We've identified five guiding principles. Inspire participation. This is all about empathy. Think about why people would care or why they would want to take part in your challenge. Select the very best. Co-creation is about people and ideas and you want only the best of both. Connect creative minds. This is about the process and setting. They must be optimized for dialogue and cooperation. Share the results. It's very important to acknowledge, inform and reward your participants in a fair way. This is often forgotten. Continue development. Co-creation is great, but it's not an instant success machine, nor a one-off trick. You need to keep at it to succeed. In conclusion, co-creation will give you fresh ideas, new perspectives and great energy. It's about involving the outside world in a new way, resulting in innovative and compelling concepts.